by this week. For UTTV, I'm John Archuleta. I want you to think about your body position for a second. As you're watching, just think about how you're sitting. You may be sort of leaned over a table, maybe slumped back in a chair. If you're looking at this on a mobile device, for example, you're probably sitting like this. Your arms are bent by your side, you're a little hunched over, your neck even has more of a bend in it. You may wonder, what is this doing to your body? Like it or not, uh, this is probably causing some pain. Think about it, maybe in your shoulders, in between your shoulder blades. Some doctors have even given this whole thing a name. It's called Tex Neck. When the head is sort of in the neutral position, that means your ears are sort of lined up over your shoulder, the average human head weighs about 10 pounds. More for some people, less for others. But think about as you start to move your head, a few degrees forward, a few inches forward, you start to put more force and torque right here on the back of the neck. That's probably what's causing some of those problems. Reading a mobile device like this, and it's particularly problematic. Over time, you can start to flatten out the natural curve of your neck. That can lead to pressure on discs, pressure on nerves, and a lot of that pain that people are now calling text neck. It may not just be your neck uh, that suffers as well. Just think about this, just try this with me. As you're sort of slumped over, try and take a deep breath in. Let's sit up straight, get good posture. Take a deep breath in. You can find that the respiratory capacity, your ability to actually take in air, can decrease as much as 30% just based on your body position. Also, people complain about gastrointestinal problems, pressure on the stomach and the intestines, which could increase as a result of that slumped position. Again, just sort of opening things up could help with that as well. One of the concerns, if you're not getting the same amount of air into your lungs, is that there's many organs around the body that aren't going to get the same amount of oxygen either. It starts to decrease the amount of flow to all these various parts around your body. Probably the most important message is an easy one. Just be aware of your body. Do simple things like keeping your feet flat on the floor. Try and keep your head in a neutral position. Again, that means your ears over your shoulders. Also, if you're on your cell phone a lot, you're probably doing a lot of this. So simply getting a headset, for example, when you're on your phone as much as possible, will help you keep that neck in a neutral position. There's even this app. For Android, it's called a text neck indicator, and it sort of gives you an indication, a green light, when you're in a more optimal viewing position, and you probably guess a red light at when you're causing a little too much pressure on the neck. Hey, look, there's another solution here as well. Every 20 minutes or so, put the device away. Sit up straight. Roll those shoulders back. Get rid of any of the aches and pains in your neck, and get up and just go for a walk.